If you currently own AMD's first generation Ryzen processors, you might be worried about the 2000 series requiring a new motherboard, like another company we know. Well, don't fret, because it doesn't. In fact, you just need to update your BIOS, kind of, but don't worry. I'm going to explain how, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. For those who don't know, AMD's Ryzen 2000 series CPUs are just a couple months away. With it comes higher clocks, better power efficiency, and plenty more features thanks to the 12 nanometer die shrink from Global Foundry. Well, it looks like the first batch of AMD's new Agisa code is making its way to motherboards in the form of BIOS updates, with ASRock being the first manufacturer to make these public by way of their Japanese blog. The thing is that the updates are on their US site as well, and the process is the same. This update gives us some insight into the process for upgrading your current 1000 series PC to the new Ryzen 2000 series, same motherboard and all. Now I can't guarantee every motherboard will have the exact same process, but I doubt the variation will be all that wide. With that said, if there is a very different process announced from another manufacturer, I'll make sure to update the description with it or pin a comment. So just look there as time goes on. When it ultimately comes to the process, it is a little different because it actually requires two BIOS updates that must be done in order. That's right, you've got to update to a new BIOS before you can add the BIOS that's actually compatible with the Ryzen 2000 series CPUs. ASRock calls it the bridge BIOS, and some think it's because the Ryzen 2000 BIOS is a complete rework, so this cleans it up a little. Of course, before I discuss how to do the BIOS updates, please remember that if an update is in process, when something happens like a power outage or it fails for whatever reason, you could potentially break your board, given you can't clear the CMOS, etc., and it voids your warranty. With that out of the way, the process is pretty straightforward, though the wording can be slightly different depending on the manufacturer. First, you're going to want a flash drive. It doesn't have to be big, but you'll need some kind of physical media. Next, head over to your motherboard manufacturer's website, whether it's Zeus, ASRock, MSI, etc., and find your exact AM4 motherboard. Then go to the Support tab. From here, find one of the newer BIOS updates that's called something along the lines of Bridge. ASRock tells you which to do first, but the numbers and name can easily be different for you because the naming scheme is at least somewhat dependent on what the manufacturer decides, but it'll hopefully be called something similar. Now, go ahead and download both updates. Ensure it's the one for a direct flash to the board, then transfer the files to your flash drive. Once you've done that, shut down your computer. Make sure you're using your current Ryzen processor and restart it. During post, you press what you need to to enter BIOS, or well, UEFI, whether that's F2, Delete, F8, or whatever your board specifies. From here, you should have a flash utility. ASRock calls theirs Instant Flash, and I know MSI calls theirs MFlash. Either way, go here and select your flash drive in the bridge BIOS and update. The PC should then restart and you repeat the process from earlier. This time, picking the second BIOS update that makes your system fully Ryzen 2000 ready. After the restart, your system should be compatible with AMD's upcoming Ryzen CPUs, and you can pat yourself on the back that nothing got messed up in the process. So while that does it for today, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to check out the GamerMail Discord server to talk all things gaming and hardware. Check that out in the description below. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.